Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a little sort of like cook with me. I've wanted to do this one for a while but just haven't had a chance. So I thought today is the perfect day to do it, get it cooked and show you what we've prepared and get it uploaded for tonight. It's the perfect winter's uh, meal, especially lunch times when it's cold and you just want something nice and warm in. It's so, so tasty. Now this dish is something that uh, comes from my hometown of Peterhead. It seems to be really, really local to that area. Um, my husband lives about an hour away from Peterhead, um, up in Banff, and that's where we live. Um, and he's never heard of it. He doesn't like it. He's not a mince fan. Um, but I just love mince. I'm probably more mince, prefer mince than I do to chicken. But I just thought this was really nice to show you something that a lot of people won't have heard. A lot of people might think it's a bit strange, but once you try it, you'll absolutely love it. And it's great for making a big pot and you can just freeze it away as and when you know you need it. So honestly, definitely, lovely lovely meal with some nice crusty bread it's amazing and it's this it's so simple to make so i'm going to show you all the ingredients and then we'll get going with everything and then i'll show you the end result so obviously i should actually say <laughs> the dish is minced soup it is very basic it's probably a very sort of like traditional cheap warm and sort of meal for probably that came from like back in the day um but i think it's amazing <laughs> obviously i grew up with it um being a mince a big mince fan i think it's just so so tasty so i just thought i'd show you so the ingredients are as follows i've got a big thing of mince i'll probably only use about three quarters of this um, so I've got some scotch lean beef and that's the steak mince that's 5% fat. I always try and keep the fat content not, not too high. Um, and this is obviously just bought fresh. Some big bag of potatoes. Uh, a one white onion. Some carrots and a stock cube. Now, normally it would be like two of the square stock cubes, but I don't have any of them in at the moment. So I've got these and I just thought that'll be fine. I won't need to buy any more. So I'm just gonna use one. Um, and then obviously you just need salt and spice. So it's a really, really basic recipe. There's nothing complicated about. It's literally chop everything up, put it in a dish, cook it. Normally it would obviously be in a pan and you could, um, it calls for just cooking it until the, the potatoes are kind of starting to fall apart. I like to do it in the slow cooker because I think it gives it a really, really nice tender taste and texture to the mince. So that's how I do it. And I'd probably do it for about four hours. But even in the pan, you could kind of slow cook it in the pan as well. Um, show you. Um, if you think it's too thick, you can always add water. I like really, really thick soup, so I have no problem with that. But if it is a bit, th you know, some people tend to prefer thinner soup, you can add a bit more water. And if you did that, maybe just add in another um, stock cube as well. So we're gonna get going and get chopping up of all the veg into slow cooker over here. This one I've had for a while, it does the job and um, I'll come back to you.
is that. So I'm just going to give everything a pass of salt and pepper. If you want a bigger pan of soup, you can use that whole packet of mince. Um, I think the recipe calls for three quarters, but I've just done a half of a pan just to go in for a bit. I'll probably freeze some of it away. It'll do for Olivia's tea this week. Water in, just a jug, fill it up with water. Everything all kind of obviously to start with it all looks like it's really really full. Because I like it quite thick, I don't want to use too much water. You can always add, you know, after a couple of hours. And that's the cooking process of my soup. Get it in. That's the slow cooker on for a high setting, so maybe four to six hours. That well, high setting would be, as I say, probably about three, four o'clock. That'll be ready, but I'll check it throughout the next couple hours, give it a stir and that, which is always good. So we'll come back and let you see how it is when it's finished. I've just got an Olivia off to bed. It's quarter past seven, so the soup is now ready. I'm gonna take it off, mash it all up, and it'll be good to go. Looking a lot, smells lovely. Um, can't wait to try it and see how it is. So I'll go and get it out of the pan, get it mashed up. Just gonna use basic masher. consistency um, you can mash your potatoes as much as you want or as little as you want um, you can add carrots you don't have to add carrots you could add um, swede and it's a bowl of warm yummy soup that will fill you up and heat you up on a cold winter's day um, I usually like to take a bit of bread like eat it with a little bit of bread and then just eat it up. I just, I just think it's amazing. Oh, taste. Let's see how it is. That's good. It's hot. But yeah, that's good. Really, really tasty. So if you fancy making some traditional sort of like northeast Scottish food. Definitely worth a try, very easy, very cheap. I'll, as I say, I'll probably store some of those away in the freezer. Um, I just can't beat it. So, that's my little first cook with me. Um, might do some other things, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But thank you for watching. I hope you've liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you are new, please hit the subscribe button and we'll catch you the next time. Bye.